In August we showed you a piece on succession of vegetables. Well, we can show you some of the results, I think, of that. We've got the sweet corn now. Look at that. Could do with another week or so, I suppose, but I'll tell you, if you pop that into the saucepan now, that'll be a pretty good uh, sweet corn. We had a sowed as a little intercrop, the winter radish. These were sown on the 7th week of August. And you can see, they're all ready to eat. I wasn't sure the leeks were going to make it, but in practice they were, I think they're going to make some quite useful stems before we're done. And the peas, this is a variety called terrain. And to have leaves like this in October without a sign of mildew is really quite remarkable. It is good for late sowing. There's another variety further up, one called Eddie. Leaves are a little darker green, a bit earlier, but I think terrain's the one for autumn cropping. And then just beside it, I'm looking at sowing dates all the time, and with the carrots. There we are. These were sown the second week of August and they're just about big enough now but that means it's about as late as you can get. If they'd have been sown the last week in July they would have done so much better. And then I've got my Brussels sprouts, I've got to get at those, they're getting a bit too tall, beginning to splay about. I need to get a stake and tie on those and get them completely netted to protect from pigeons.